Okay, so another bit of work. Usually I'd have changed the spark plugs with these, but I've just realised that my spark plug socket is missing the rubber on the inside, so I'm not going to be doing them today. Luckily, the sockets are under warranty, so I'll be taking that back. So what I have decided to do is change that coil back, which is simple enough. Loosen off the four bolts. So BMW Minis are quite weird because they've got this protective sleeving over for some reason. So I'll show you what I've done with that in a minute. So we're going to loosen all these off. Try not to lose the rubbers. And then there's a red clip. Push that until it clicks. And then should be able. Oh, this coil pack's warm to just slide that off. And then we can get ready for the new one. Now the new bolts that I'm gonna be the bolts that I'm gonna be using are modified standard bolts. Just because I couldn't be bothered going and getting any M6s. One's actually been chopped a little bit too much, which I shouldn't have done, but yeah, it'll still work. And if you haven't noticed I've got more rubbers. Thought I had somebody behind me. coil pack out nothing better than a brand new coil pack by then <clears throat> uh, make sure the numbers line up so I'm just put them up there a minute cylinder one there we go but what I am going to do is each individual, oh wow, look at that, that's broken up quite bad. Um, so that explains the misfire, maybe, we're going to change these at the same point as well. So with his modified bolts, put the rubber on line it up, drop it in, start just screwing it in a little bit, not all the way, because we need to put all four on, we do this all the way around, Something I've learned from personal experience is make sure that you do it all, all by hand first. Just so then you know that it's not cross-threading. Because you'd be able to feel it cross-threading a little bit. Plug that back in, making sure that it's clipped properly. There we go. And then we're going to take the rest of the leads, which I was looking for, which I know where they are. But there we go. That one's cylinder four right there. Another one that's broke up on the inside, I think. Yep. It's broke up on the inside. So 
So we're going to bin that and just remember that that one there is cylinder three. I almost forgot which lead was which then. And then cylinder one. I'm going to stop that rubbing as well because, uh, yeah. So somehow we need to get these out, which I don't think long reach pliers is going to do it. With the locks, it's been breaking down quite a while. So we need to get that out. Uh, I think we're away. I'll be right back.